Hi, I'm Jonathan Halting Cohen, and we're here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley. And today I'm going to show you about playing position for the saxophone. I'm going to show you with a variety of instruments as well as standing and sitting positions. So first we're going to begin standing with the alto saxophone. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to begin standing without any saxophones. So the way we want to start is just the two feet flat on the ground. You want to make sure that you can feel the ball of your foot, the outside of your foot, and the heel of your foot uh, on both sides, so that you feel really heavy in your shoes. So make sure you have a very solid standing foundation before you go and try to do all these crazy things. So we'll start there. And then from there, you want to make sure that your hips are just straight up over your feet. Your knees might have a little bit of a bend to them. You don't want to be down like this unless you're doing something fun. But normally, you'll have your knees just a tad bent. Your shoulders, you want to make sure are not rolling forward. So your shoulders, you want your shoulder blades on your back. So your shoulder blades should feel heavy and rest on top of your spine and your spine on top of your hips, and your hips on top of your knees, and your knees on top of your feet. Very simple. And that's the point. This needs to be the easiest thing you do while you're playing the saxophone. So now our shoulders and everything up to here is all set. From here, you want to make sure your neck is loose. So I might recommend just turning your head slowly from side to side, doing maybe some little head rolls like this, just to make sure you're loose. And then, you want to make sure your head is just right on top of your shoulders. You can think, some people think about pulling their ears up and back, and that works for some folks, or some people imagine maybe a string coming out from the top of their head, so they feel really tall and just and, and ready to take air, which is what we need to play a wind instrument. So starting like this is all we need. Then you take your instrument. Take the instrument, strap it on, and then just let it hang there. And notice what that does to your body. Does it pull your neck forward? Okay, well we need to make an adjustment here. If your neck is getting pulled forward, you want to make sure that your, first of all, your neck drop is not too high up. Neck drop's too high up, you have too much work to do. So you want your neck drop to be as far down towards your shoulders as possible. Then you want to make sure that you can push your head back just like this so it's on top of the shoulders once again. From here, I recommend approaching the instrument by actually pressing with both thumbs. No fingers first. So one thumb goes on the left thumb rest and one on the right thumb rest. And this way you can keep it balanced. If you're playing in marching band, you might need to push it so that it's perpendicular to the ground. But for typical saxophone playing, I actually recommend a slight angle. And these things do not need to contradict. They just, when you're in marching band, do it one way. When you're not in marching band, do it a different way. It's a different technique. So from here, you want to make sure that the neck strap is high enough. If the neck strap is too low, you will have to train your neck forward, as I was demonstrating earlier. So we don't want this kind of position, but rather you want to pull up the neck strap so that the instrument comes right to your mouth when balanced on these two thumbs. And that's the basic playing position for the alto saxophone standing. Now I'm going to show you how to have a proper playing position while sitting with the alto saxophone. So first, a lot of chairs will have you oriented so that you can sit back really nicely, maybe at an outdoor picnic. So you can sit outside at a table and enjoy food and talk and stuff. These chairs are really not conducive to playing instruments. With a wind instrument, you need to make sure that your body is upright. With sitting, we are immediately at a handicap when from playing compared to uh, playing standing up. Uh, the bottom part of the breathing apparatus is, is you just closed up to it with your legs and you don't have the strength that comes from being rooted in the feet. So, you need to try to emulate 
the standing position as much as possible while sitting. That means still having your feet flat on the ground. It means scooting your butt up to the front of the chair. And then keeping, again, your shoulder blades on top of your back, which should be on top of your hip bones. These hip bones, you should feel them really pretty solidly in the chair. And your head, again, right on top. Now, when you take your instrument, there is some debate. Sometimes you will see people playing on the side like this. For some people, if you are of a certain smaller size, this is the best option for you. But I recommend, if possible, to play between your legs, such that the mouthpiece is almost in the same position as it would be for playing standing up. This allows the breathing apparatus to be free, whereas this way, the lungs are collapsed uh, unevenly, and being collapsed at all is, is, is not ideal. So you want the saxophone to be between your legs, and you want the mouthpiece, again, to be square with the instrument, and the neck, and the neck strap, again, should be such that the instrument comes to your mouth when you are balancing with two thumbs. And that's it. So the playing position for the tenor saxophone is very similar to the playing position for the alto saxophone in that the same principles apply. The mouthpiece should be in line with the neck, and you should be able to balance it just fine with the two thumbs on the thumb rest. And while standing, I recommend also keeping this just straight in front of your mind, in front of your body. Nice stuff. Now, the angle of the mouthpiece is slightly different because of the angle of the neck, and you want the neck strap not to be too low. Both feet wide. Yep, just so, as your head is above your shoulders, so that the hips slightly give you more free room. And that's it. Now, sitting with the tenor saxophone is a little bit different than sitting with the alto saxophone. But, again, the same principles of creating as much space for your lungs and your breathing apparatus as possible remains. So, some people play on the side, and if that's your case, that's fine. But, if that's the way that you do it, you will want to make sure that you may need to slightly angle the neck a little bit differently, and slightly angle the mouthpiece slightly differently. Such that, again, when it's balanced with these fingers, the horn comes straight up to your mouth. If these things aren't slightly different, and if things are straight, your head will have to come over this way. More important than the saxophone being in alignment is your body being in alignment. And if you have to somewhat, just perhaps just a little bit, adjust the instrument to fit your body, then so be it. That's the way I prefer it. The other option is also to play uh, with it in front of your body. And if that's the case, you probably will need to adjust the back to a center position. Um, when I play, my left leg comes out a little bit in front, and my right leg is tucked behind me. And this is to just give me as much balance as possible as I lean a little bit more forward in this playing position. Baritone is the same basic principles as the other two, except uh, it's obviously much bigger. So it presents some issues with standing up in front. Some people will play like this, but some find it somewhat awkward. So as long as I say, as long as you can keep your shoulders and everything flat and open, you can play a little bit off to the side as well. What you want to make sure you're not doing is anything funny like this or standing forward in order to accommodate it. You do just want to make sure that the basic principle of alignment is in place for playing the baritone saxophone as you would with any of the others. When sitting with the baritone saxophone, you will want to make sure that the neck is at such an angle that it comes straight to your mouth. So you may move it a bit to the right, perhaps to line it up with this part of the body. And then the saxophone almost by necessity needs to be on the right side. If you can, if you feel comfortable playing in the middle, feel free to try. I find it very uh, uncomfortable, and I recommend playing on the side. Again, though, 
in order to accommodate this long tube hanging to the side of your body, you really will need to make sure that your chest is high and your shoulders are on your back and that everything is square as we discussed with the other instruments. Standing with the soprano saxophone is its own challenge. One of, things, one of the things that many of us end up trying to do is lay downward, sort of mimic the way that we might put our hands on an alto saxophone. But because the instrument is straight, we end up in this sort of situation. So you really do need to learn a different standing and posture position for the soprano saxophone. Again, keeping the body first and then taking the instrument to the body is the best way to go. And you want to mimic the angle here that you would on your alto or one of the other instruments, more or less. So you wouldn't want the neck strap so far out that you're playing like this or so high that this is the position. You would go for something of this angle and then standing up straight. Now one thing that can happen is this right shoulder might want to come forward quite a lot. Resist the temptation to do that. Be mindful of it and put it back where we've talked about it belongs uh, for all the other instruments as well. And you can balance with these two fingers, or the two thumbs I should say, and then play like this. Now some people find this rather uncomfortable uh, because the instrument is so straight. So um, some manufacturers, some are included, have designed a second bent neck that will bring the saxophone into a position that's slightly more comfortable for some. So if your instrument has a bent neck, you can experiment with that to see if that is more comfortable for you. So as you can see, it's at a slightly different angle. Again, make sure the mouthpiece is straight in line with the rest of the instrument. And you'll notice the same neck strap position doesn't work anymore. Standing up straight, this hits me in the chin. I'll need to pull it up just a little bit more. And there, we're playing position just so. Sitting down to play the soprano saxophone should be rather comfortable like playing any of the others. The same principles apply. If you get yourself sitting forward like I was, make sure to bring your shoulders up and back. Not so high that they come up to your ear, but just comfortably on your back. Then you move the soprano into place and play as if you would play any of the others. If the instrument is too low, 